Hello everyone. Welcome to session 31 of software testing made easy course. In this session, we are going to continue with the live project that is part 23 of the independent software testing live project where I am going to show you the list of defects that are identified while testing this live project that is a real project. So while testing this live project guys real project we got around 23 defects. How many defects we got while testing this live project total 23 defects we got. But guys, all the defects were not identified only by executing the test cases. I got this 23 defects by first executing the test cases. Okay, so executing test cases by executing the test cases, guys, we got around some 18 defects. Okay, by executing the test cases that were created earlier in this uh, live project series, right? We got around 18 defects. We identified 18 defects with the help of the test cases. So here, but 23 defects were fine. So apart from executing the test cases, apart from executing the test cases, what we did is we also explored the application. Okay, explored the application. So just remember guys, not just by executing the test cases, we'll not get all the defects. Okay, just by executing the test cases, you'll not get all the defects guys. After executing the test cases, we should also explore the application. Okay, that's where guys we got five remaining defects out of 23 total defects 18 defects were identified while executing the test cases and remaining five defects were identified while exploring the application so don't think that just by executing the test cases your testing is done it's not like that guys so test cases will help you identify most of the important defects or most of the defects but if you want to test the application completely after executing the test cases after completing the execution of the test cases complete test cases then you need to explore the application guys the more you explore the application the more defects you may get fine so anyhow what i did is i executed the test cases i got 18 defects i explored the application later after then i got five defects total 23 defects i have identified in this real or live project application so you can download this test uh, defects from here guys okay so i have just uh, created a word document for you from where Anyhow, I reported all these defects into a bug tracking tool. So let me show you the bug tracking tool where I have reported the bugs. So zoho.bugtracker. Okay, just go to that. So earlier I created an account with a Zoho bug tracking tool. So I'll go to the project where I have reported all the defects. Tutorials in is a project, right? So I'll select this project. You see all the 23 defects are there here. Starting from number two to 24 means 23 defects. Total 23 defects are there in this defects. So these are the complete defects that I have identified while testing this application, 23 defects, 18 defects by executing the test cases, five defects by exploring the remaining or exploring the complete application, fine. So all the defects I reported here, this account may not be available tomorrow guys, right? So whatever the Zoho account I created is a temporary account guys, okay? So it is a temporary account, it may get deleted after a few days. So this is not permanent, for now just just to show you that uh, how a bug tracking tool will look like and how to report, I have used this particular account of Zoho bug tracking tool. But guys, just to make sure that these defects will not be lost from the Zoho bug tracking tool, what I did is I took all these defects offline, okay? So you can download from here, guys. This link will not expire, okay? Just copy this link. Uh, in the notes of this particular video, guys, you can find all these uh, defects, okay? I just put all these defects in the bug report. Bug report, tutorials ninja project. So you see, these are all the defects uh, I have identified while testing the live project. So what I want to do guys is you can pause the video. Okay, you can pause the video and you also come up uh, with this kind of defects. Okay, just execute the test cases. You will get good number of defects and also explore the application. You will get remaining defects also. Just cross check your defects with uh, my defects so that you will understand. And also guys, so what you can learn from this uh, defects is, what you can uh, learn from this defects is like, uh, you can learn how to report the defect, okay? I just uh, create a lot of examples here. These are like, uh, for your learning, it will be very good guys, okay? Once you got all these defects, just cross check how you are reporting the defects. Are you reporting the defects in the same manner I am doing? Are you missing anything? So all these things like uh, how I'm providing the severity and all those stuff, you can cross check my thing with yours so that you can learn a lot from these examples guys, okay? So these are like, uh, no one will provide this kind of defects guys, okay? So that way documented defects. So around 23 defects are there for your learning. If you practice all these 23 defects, how to report this kind of defects, then you'll be in a good position, good or better position guys. You'll get a lot of confidence, fine. So kindly pause the video and explore the application. 
it's good that test cases come up with the defects report them and cross check your defects with my defects with a with the intention of learning it okay with the intention of learning whether you are identifying the proper defects or not and with the intention of learning whether the way you are reporting each and every defect is correct or not fine the way i reported the defects is according to the industry standards guys so you can compare cross check your way of reporting the defects with my way of reporting the defects for learning purpose so that is the assignment for this session guys pause the video do it come back resume the video and cross check then you are done guys okay then you are done so here from here you can download the defect report fine so sometimes what happens is uh, in few projects guys uh, the client may not provide you the defect tracking tool okay let's say the defect tracking tool like zoho bug tracking tool will not be provided for you so what you will do if the client is not ready to uh, invest in bug tracking tool for you then what you are going to do guys in such kind of projects where client is not providing you this kind of bug tracking tool for you for reporting the defects then there is no other way guys we have to go with this word document format okay whatever the word document i have shown you just now okay so this format you have to follow okay you need to send this kind of defect reports to the client if the bug tracking tool is not available you need to take some time in creating this kind of uh, word document report a table of uh, uh, contents kind of uh, defects i have provided the links here guys when you click on this it will take you to the required defect okay here bug id brief discussion of the i mean title of the defect and then cvrt of the defects steps to reproduce expected result actual result screenshot if applicable you see one of the defect has a screenshot if it is not applicable not applicable is there so like this guys uh, sometimes if you, if the client is not ready to invest in bug tracking tool then there is no other way like creating this kind of word document and sharing the sharing your bugs to the client in this word document format fine you need to learn how to create this kind of word document fine so just by looking at this, you can even download like download this particular as a template guys and use it for your purpose also the client is in your project if the client is not providing you this bug tracking tool simply download this report from this notes okay then customize it okay in place of the tutorial engine write your project name then here clear out all this stuff uh, then whatever the defects you got put it here with the id numbers then simply simply write all this formats okay for whatever a defect is there right just write down the defects here and put a link here okay uh, you, you need to bookmark it such a way that when you click on this uh, it will go to the upper if i bookmark here if i insert a bookmark here and uh, hyperlink to that particular bookmark then if i it will become a hyperlink guys when you click on this it will take you to the appropriate place in this word document so you have to learn all this stuff okay if a uh, bug tracking tool is not there this is the only solution guys this kind of template you need to use for reporting the defects and sharing with the clients in the end of the day status emails so hope guys you understood uh, and uh, are able to go through the list of defects that are identified by me and cross check with your list of defects and also you are able to learn by cross checking the way you are reporting the defects with the way i am reporting the defects so there are around 23 defects guys you can learn a lot from this 23 defects so that's it for this session thank you guys see you in the next session bye